feel the employer is extremely lucky to have them um, as opposed to the other way around. So it's a dynamic that has to change. We've got to kill that attitude and that has to come through hurting the economy, which is what the whole global, you know, the, the world is trying to do. The governments around the world are trying to increase unemployment to get that to some sort of normality. And we're seeing it. I think every employer now is seeing it. I mean, there is definitely massive layoffs going off. People might not be talking about it, but people are definitely laying people off and we're starting to see less arrogance in the employment market. And that has to continue because that will cascade across the cost. I am sure you guys have seen this D-bag all over your For You page by now. Douche, douche, douche. He complains about, um, he says that people need to stop even eating avocado toast. Remember that guy? By the way, he says he's Christian, uh, is what I found online. He's married, all right? has no education that I could find. Somebody please correct me if you can see that. He's not educated. He's, you know, an entrepreneur, right? I assume, and I'm thinking, his brand comes from his wife. Something tells me his wife is the one that had money, seed money, and that's how he's, he made a start. And now he's cocky and bold and thinks he's better than people. That's my assumption, um, al allegedly. Right? That guy, that's him, Tim Gurner. All right, he's a real estate developer and a billionaire. He's worth over 10 billion with his wife, Amy. Greedy, selfish, entitled prick. It, it's very eye-opening to know this is what they think of you. This is how they treat labor. Greedy capitalists, let me cl clarify, because it's not capitalism, it's greedy capitalists. This is what they get you. This is what's wrong with society. This kind of think, and to think he's sitting in a room where no one is interjecting, no one is standing up and, and holding him accountable for those statements, tells you that the birds of a feather flock together. He says that employment needs to be 40 to 50% more to tighten the situation for the worker and make it so hard for them so that they have to just lower their um, arrogance level, I guess is what he calls it, and say, I will just work for whatever you give me. What? You know, this guy's worth 10 billion. You think he's gonna lower his expectations of what his value is? And that made me realize we are gonna really need people to stand up for themselves. Do not let your guard down. Do not accept bare minimum. Stop accepting these ideas of living in a freaking RV or a tiny home or any of that bullshit because billionaires are not doing it.